Okay, I am retrofitting an old D104 microphone that I bought off of eBay. It has no connector on it. The first thing I did is verify that the push to talk was good using my voltometer. meter. Once I verified that was good, I was able to download a schematic and when I pulled the base off, it had a, a schematic on the, under the base which corresponded to the one I downloaded. I also <clears throat> I also downloaded the wiring for the uh, uh, Osan uh, or Kenwood style plugs. Okay, so the first part of the project was to cut the end off of the handheld and strip the wires back. Okay, now I'm not going to use the external speaker, so I do not need the tip in the center ring. So using a pair of needle nose pliers, I gently worked back and forth until I broke the, uh, the tip off and left only the, the main ring. Okay, so making a temporary connection between the black and the green and the red and the white black and the green on the microphone red and the white on the the uh, Kenwood connector I have uh, used my multimeter and verified that the uh, uh, push to talk now shorts between the two shields as is indicated here alright so based upon my diagram here I'm taking the white from the, from the amplifier output and connecting it to the red wire. My black, which is push to talk, and connecting it to green. And uh, uh, white and shield and black are tied together. This is the output of the amplifier. The white is tied to the white line. The shield, here's the shield with the jumper, it's tied to ground. So what I've come up with, I'm not using the black wire on the handheld cable, the Kenwood cable. So you can, I shield, white, and red are connected. My green and black are connected. And over here my white and red are connected. Okay, so as you've seen probably before, I'm using a little handheld here with a, the external speaker mic. The speaker that's in the radio is fine. I don't, I don't need the microphone on here. I do have my little SWR meter hooked up. So my first step is I just want to see if the push to talk functions. So I'll take my, I have added a battery and I have a temporarily just uh, put some electrical tape around here. This one is just kind of a strain relief. And uh, to remove. Now, as you can see, this was this cable here on another microphone that, that didn't work. Yeah, this is this is that. Okay, and you can see all I've got there is the, the shield, so let's uh, plug this in. i got an alignment problem here. <laughs> without, that, without that little extra piece on the end there, it's kind of hard to get them lined up, but that's okay. We're in there, so let's turn it on. Okay, so far so good. The uh, speaker on the handheld is working. Now let's see if I can uh, key this up and uh, all right. Uh, at least I, the push to talk function worked okay. Let's see if I can get anybody to uh, acknowledge me here. AF5DN.
Sunday afternoon might be tough to find somebody that's uh, actually functioning. I may have to wait and test this like on a uh, when I might when I know somebody's on. Like I might turn on my SDR Sharp. <laughs> if you, there's another video if you haven't seen that one, and uh, scan around see if I can find somebody on a frequency. Uh, let's try one more. AF5DN trying to get a uh, signal check on this repeater. AF5DN. This uh, volume control is set at, so I'm going to see here. Looks like it was all the way one direction, just about. I'm going to go halfway. AF5DN, looking for a signal check on this repeater, AF5DN. Try the Racy's repeater. AF5DN, trying to get a signal check on this repeater. Got a new microphone and trying to see if it's working okay. See if that made any difference whatsoever. <laughs> Yakety yak, don't talk bad. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, a D, one of the old timey D1 microphones I picked up uh, on Flea Bay for almost nothing, and uh, I'm trying to get it wired in and see if I can make it work. Appreciate your time this afternoon, uh, AF5DN. I'm going to be clear. All right, so it works. A antique uh, D1 or modified D104 uh, microphone with a handheld. Can't beat that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this uh, this old cord uh, out of here and then actually solder this one directly in. So that'll be my next project. I'm going to take it back into the to the bench. Okay, so here's the final wiring. Um, I took this black wire, jumpered it over here to the green. As I shown you in the previous video, I had those tied together. Where the white wire was is now red. And where the uh, red wire was is now white. That's not right. Okay, so here's the finished product, <clears throat> a vintage D104 microphone with a Kenwood adapter that'll work on your Bofang or your uh, Osan or any of the Chinese radios that, that utilize this type of a connector. Uh, the only really trick is because you don't have the little extra end out here. Uh, you have to kind of watch what you're doing to get it aligned in there, but once you do, you're in good shape. Now this particular uh, 
microphone. I'm ready to go. I got my got my handy talkie here hooked up to my external J pole, and I'm ready to do some talking. Now, like I say, on this one, the head is a little loose. Um, uh, if you've not seen these, these heads do they they just unplug off the top. Okay, so it's a little it's a little loose. I'm gonna have to pull this head apart to see if I can tighten it up on the inside a little bit. But uh, it's functional. That was the main goal. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll show you here in just a minute. I will post up on my web page. I'm gonna take these two diagrams. And you see I've modified this one down here a little bit. I'm gonna take these two diagrams and put them together. So if you should have the desire <laughs> to try such a thing, who knows, uh, you might have a little success on that. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot, AF5DM.